Hey guys, uh, we're going to do a little practical, practical printing project here, and uh, it has to do with this gate we installed. My uncle installed this gate on our deck so that our small child would not tumble down the stairs to her doom. Um, nice thing is it stays closed, but sometimes we, we also have dogs, and the dogs need to be able to get down and do their duty. So what happens is this gate will either swing shut or the wind will blow it shut, and the, the dogs won't be able to get downstairs. So I got to come out in the cold. It's probably about 20 something degrees out right now and go open the gate for them so they can get downstairs and do it and come back uh, one way we fix this you can't see it here but oh, we have one laying around have an old mop that we had sitting at the bottom of the deck here to keep that gate open uh, which works until the wind blows and it blows it shut and moves the mop and i said this is time for 3d printing so what i think i'm going to do is we've got a latch got a latch right here metal one for safety what if we printed a latch that could sit over on this side right so that when this gate is open it holds the door open and when we want to shut it we can go lock it for our kit so I think we could use some nylon or some tough material and see if we can create a latch and a design in place mechanism to make this work so let's go take a look at how we do that Okay guys, so here's my latch design. I went in and drew the latch from the gate, which is this blue bar here. And I went in and designed this latch. Um, ideally this pin would be lower, but because of size constraints, I couldn't get it in there. Um, so in order to make sure this gate or this latch locked, I went in and added this rib in here. So as this latch comes down, the pin inside the body which I'll show you in a minute falls into this point and keeps the gate shut and the latch locked um, let's put the body on and in here you can see the, the pin here that goes in and clicks in and keeps the, the latch completely shut keeping the gate from from coming out of the, the uh, out of the latch and the big thing here is the print and place design so if we look at the side here the gap around this pin is 0.5 millimeters all the way around, which might seem like quite a bit, but with a material such as nylon that has a really good inner surface layer adhesion property, you wanna make sure there's a pretty good air gap there so that this latch will break away fairly easily. Um, so this allows it to be printed in place, and we went and put it in Simplify 3D. And in Simplify 3D, we just needed some supports to support the latch see it here underneath but it's all from the surface of the bed nowhere else print in place send that over to the printer and let's see what kind of results we get Alright, after two hours the nylon's done printing, let's try to remove it from the bed here, carefully. goes there we go all right let's uh, see if we can get this thing to uh, start moving here and take out the support okay so using simplify 3d I used two dense support layers on top with two separation layers uh, hopefully that's enough to allow this to break the nylon to break away um, it's an 80% dense infill and a 15% 
low infill at the bottom below here. So let's see if this breaks apart. So we got our support material down there. Hopefully it's in focus. Okay. Let's see how well this comes apart. I've always been interested to see how well nylon breaks apart here. There we go. Surprisingly, it came out really clean. Um, so we got the material out from the inside there. Focus. All right. So now we've got this living, well, not living hinge, but a um, printed in place hinge in here, this pivot. And we're gonna see if we can break it away from this nylon latch. So here's hoping. Ooh, that's tight, guys. Let's see. Oh, whoa, oh, 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 maybe. It's loose. So we can loosen it up. All right, it's loose. Just need to, oh, there it goes. Oh, excellent. Okay, now that we got our nylon bracket here, let's see if we can line that up with our uh, post for our door and see if we can get this screwed on and see if it works. So let me get the gate. Okay, so here's our gate post here. Let's open up our latch. And our latch, let's see, will sit right about there, it looks like. Looks good. Let's take a pen, mark the holes. We get it lined up. Okay. Three and four. Okay, we got the holes. Let's get the drill and drill it out. Okay, we got our drill bit here to pre drill the screw holes. Let's do that. Check our, check our holes. Looks good. Time to screw them in. Okay, we got our 10 by one and three quarter screws. Let's go ahead and screw this bracket in. There we go. Let's check it out. Latch is open. The gate is now locked in place and I don't have to worry about the wind blowing this gate shut anymore and making me go out in the cold to let the dogs out. Another win for 3D printing. See you next time.